crazy announcement today. Basically, Claude 3.5 Sonnet has come out, which is a new model from Anthropic, and it is free for everyone to access. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it to rank number one with AI SEO today. Some of the best prompts, I'll be breaking down some of my best strategies and SAPs. And if you're not familiar with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, so you can see the announcement, it literally just came out recently. Literally just came out today, 21st of June, as you can see right here. And a lot of people are saying this is like AGI level madness. I'll show you some of the crazy stuff you can do with it in a minute, but it is mind blowing. Now, if you want to compare this, say, versus GPT 4.0, by the way, this is free, but you can also see in the test right here is probably the best and highest performing model in the market. Now, obviously, you've got to take that with a little bit of pinch of salt because it's obviously on the official website for the official tool. So everyone does a test differently. But what you can see right here is that the percentage difference is, say, in graduate level reasoning, if you compare 3.5 Sonnet, it's better than Opus. And a lot of people are blown away by Opus. And you can see it's better than GPT-4.0. Now, like I said, I'm going to get into some of the best prompts for it in a second. And you can see some of the interesting stuff that it started using, including artifacts. Now, I'm excited to show you this because basically it generates a sort of web app preview as you can see right here where you can generate something and then give it feedback in the preview section this is going to be a mind-blowing one probably one of my favorites for a long time so let's get straight into it so if you want to start using Claude Free Sonnet you can just go straight into Claude.ai completely free to sign up and for example we can try out the artifact section right here we can click this on and this will allow us to preview code so we'll X off that and then we'll get straight into working our magic. So we're going to say to Claude, create the game snake and let me preview it. Now you can see this automatically selected Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is its most powerful model and it's free. Crazy stuff right here. Now what you can see is once we do this and it's generating it pretty quickly, it says I'll create a simple version of the classic snake game using React and this will allow you to preview and interact with the game directly. It's basically coding stuff for me like a developer would, but much faster. And bear in mind, like, how much money would you pay for a developer? It'd be wild, right? To do something like this, you can see it's generating the code right here, step by step. And you can copy and download that. But the most important thing here is that you can actually preview it directly, right? And you can see that it comes up with a little web app preview right here. And then you can control the arrows. I can play around with it. I'm pressing up and down on my keyboard, even though you can't see that. And then we can just start playing a bit of Snake right there. And it's actually pretty good. And that took me about, what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds to do? Now, like, this is a free AI SEO tool. I'm not paying for it at all. As you can see right here, I still have to subscribe. Now, let's get into the SEO stuff. Now, typically with most tools, I would say, let's test creating content. Let's test creating a top of map. Let's test some of my text-based prompts. But today, we're going to go a little bit different. And today, what we're actually going to do is build out some of our own SEO tools using the Claude Sonnet, right? So what I'm going to say is create a topical map, generate a tool for SEO, and allow me to preview it. So we're going to hit enter like so. I'm going to see what it comes up with. So it's actually going to use React, aka the code previewer, to create my own SEO tool. As you can see, it's coding it right here, handling the subtopics, generating the preview, etc. And we'll see what it comes back with. Now, what I like about this is typically if you were using, say, ChatGPT to create your own tools or to code your own custom things, then you would have to run it yourself. With this, we can test it. Now, what you can see right here is in the preview section, it's not really working. So I'm going to say I can't preview it. Allow me to preview it. Now, the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to show you that this isn't just magic. It doesn't just happen with one click. But what you can see right here is now it's corrected it, right? And I can actually type in my topic. Um, my subtopics, etc. right? So for example, if I put in my main topic as birds, and then from here, we're gonna put the subtopic as bird feeders, and you can actually add multiple subtopics, I think, like you can see right here. Then we're gonna click generate preview. And what you can see is that it's starting to map out the topical map for me. But what I can see inside here is that it really it's just, it's pretty basic, right? Because all it's doing is taking the topics that I actually upload into it. I have to do a lot of the work myself. So I'm going to go back to Claude now and say, get the tool to come up with ideas for me based on the topics I type in. And now it's going to recode it 
and we can just go back and forth with Claude. So I'll wait for that to load. And what you can see right here, if I type in birds right here, it's actually gonna generate and create some suggested ideas. Then if I come into here and I put in bird feeder and we'll hit generate preview, we can click on these subtopics and it will start generating it for me. Now what I also wanna do, is I wanna test creating my own content outline tool. And I say create an SEO content outline tool that analyzes my content, scores my content based on how SEO optimized it is and updates every time I improve the content. Now it's gonna go back. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is like the first time I'm trying this, but I was like, why not? Let's have a go. We've already created a topical map generator and that took about a minute. And we'll come on to content creation in a minute. But let's see how this performs. And this one looks a lot more complex, so I'm interested to see how it turns out. You can see the actual code generated is a lot longer versus the topical map generator and the game of snake. But it's rendered the content right here. So if I go onto my website right here and we'll put like small yellow birds as the topic, and then we'll just take the content from this page, just see, does it perform well or not? And what you can see here is it actually gives you an SEO score and gives you feedback on how to improve it, right? Now, this is the first sort of take. This is a one take Drake, right? Like I've, I've literally not even gone back and forth with Claude, I've not wrestled with it. It's just given me the feedback and an SEO score based on the content that I've pasted in along with the keyword, which is absolutely insane. And you can see here it's given us, it said good content length, but increase the keyword usage slightly, add more headings to structure your content. And the keyword was found in the first paragraph. Good job, right? And you basically got like a green, amber and red traffic light scoring for your content. And so if we delete that, you can see right here that it's actually gone back to zero out of a hundred. And so genuinely the actual tool works based on what we paste in here. And now I'm gonna change one of the titles and I'll put final thoughts on yellow birds right here. And then I'm gonna re-optimize some of the other content. Now I don't think this is like perfect, but it's interesting to see what you can do in literally one click. And then obviously if you went back and forth, wrestled with Claude a little bit, it'd be very interesting to see what it does next. Now bear in mind as well, that was just with one prompt. And if you want the prompts that I'm using today, I'm just gonna put it into this document right here. And you can get access to those at the end of the video. But I think if you refined the actual content itself, if you went back and forth with Claude a little bit more, it would be even better, be way better. What I would say overall about this whole thing, it's just way more advanced than anything I've ever seen when it comes to AIS. I've never seen something where you can just code your own tools in one click and then preview them and you don't even need to like test the code elsewhere or anything like that. You can do it all within the interface. Now, something else I'm gonna test is I'm gonna take a picture from my website. I'll plug that into Claude and I'm gonna say, describe the image attached and just see what it comes up with. And you can see it's describing the image basically perfectly, right? Pretty crazy stuff right there. Now let's try generating our own images. So I'm gonna say create 10 images of a small yellow bird. Doesn't let me do that. So I'm gonna say create 10 images related to birds. Doesn't seem to do that either. But what you can see here as well is uh, it's actually run out of free messages. So just one limitation to realize here is that yes, it's free, but it does run out of free messages. And it's got like a usage limit on the messages. Now, if you want to remove that limit, one, I would recommend just being a bit more efficient because obviously I'm testing it out and I'm giving you ideas and stuff like that. But number two, if you do want to remove the limit, you can just subscribe and let's check out how much that costs. It's 18 pounds per month for me right now. We'll give it a whirl. I'm going to subscribe just for you people watching YouTube. That is the price I pay. Let's give it a whirl. Doesn't seem to be accepting my payment, as you can see right here. Just won't take my money, so I can't really test it much further, interestingly. But it would be very interesting to test some more of these tools. I might do some more videos on this in the future if you want to see it. Because it won't take my money, so you can see right here we've got an internal server error. And the free messages have run out. Just something as well to save you a little bit of time. If you get the free limit message like me, and you can't subscribe but you want to, etc. then you can actually go onto po.com and you can see that they now have Claude 3.5 Sonnet directly inside there, which is pretty cool. Now it says here that if you look at the limits, you get 200 points per message, 3000 divided by 200 
equals 15 messages allowed. So you can actually go into po.com and then actually use that for chat GPT content as well. And then for example, if we use like one of my prompts for generating new articles like this, keyword equals small yellow birds, it will start doing its magic directly inside po.com using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I don't think you get access to the React version of Claude Sonnet, so you can't like use web apps, etc. But if you want that, you can go directly to Claude and I'm sure the message limit will increase as well as this tool gets more powerful and there are more resources. Now, if you want to see some good use cases of this, you can actually see this tweet by Ashutosh who says that Claude 3.5 Sonnet is giving off AGI vibes. And if we scroll down here, you can see some of the things he's done. Like, for example, coded this game right here. So, for example, you can generate diagrams, animations, as you can see, web apps, more diagrams, SVG files, and it can actually play sound. So you can code and then add sound to your codings with Claude. Pretty crazy. Even a cheeky chart as you can see right here. Now, another interesting tweet from Alex about this stated, at Anthropic, everyone from non-technical people with no coding experience to tenured SWEs now uses Claude to write code that saves them hours of time, right? So you can basically code and create anything. And you can imagine how many automations you could use that for when it comes to SEO, like keyword research, topple maps, content creation, content outlines, analyzing and improving your existing content. And then Alex goes on to state, state, Claude makes you feel like you have superpowers. Suddenly, no problem is too ambitious. Pretty crazy stuff. And that's exactly how I felt when I was creating this. I was like, wow, it's insane what you can do with this. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is added the Claude 3.5 Sonnet prompt to my document with over 200 chat GPT SEO prompts. You can get that inside the free course links inside the comments and description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales, and how we grow websites from zero to 145,000 business per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales, feel free to book then. You'll get an SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, and discover how to quickly outrank your competitors. Plus, we'll answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.